Okay. Good afternoon everyone and welcome to day one. This is session two of the Scottish National Age Group Championships from Aberdeen Sports Village in Aberdeen. My name is Robert Taylor, with me is uh, Matty and uh, we were with you this morning. Uh, well, good to have you back. And uh, we've got the afternoon session. This is the 11 to 14 old age group. So, uh, fairly busy programme again this afternoon, and uh, that's how it uh, pans out. 200 backstroke uh, for the 11 14 olds, then we have uh, 100 backstroke for the male and open, female 100 freestyle, and 200 breaststroke. We have uh, just the two heats of uh, 1500 free Matty, Thankfully. and uh, we then conclude with a freestyle relay, and uh, that. Uh, it's a slightly shorter session. We don't have 50s. That was the one thing we uh, don't have. Uh, the uh, 14 and unders only swim a 50 freestyle. That's we right. had, I think, breaststroke and butterfly this morning. Butterfly. So yeah, that's right. those events don't get swam for the uh, younger age group. So uh, this afternoon session is likely to finish uh, probably in a bit two and a bit hours. So uh, a fair bit to, to look forward. Yeah, looking forward to it again. Seems like a, a noisier crowd in this afternoon than it was yeah. this morning, but they've got the younger ones in today, it's their turn, so yeah, hopefully uh, we get as much good swimming as we had this morning. Yeah, and uh, as you can see over on the far side, uh, the Geary team in that uh, lovely orange uh, top. So we're just about ready to get underway, our uh, officials are poolside, and uh, we'll uh, Get to our referees uh, announced. I think first, first of all, before they're uh, due to get us underway, uh, there's uh, two of our officials. Uh, I couldn't trying do without uh, having these events. Trying to hide from the camera. Yeah. There. I think that's uh, in fact that's uh, coaches. I think from South Ayrshire. And uh, some more of uh, the younger swimmers uh, won the Bass Club. Over on that far side, that's where uh, they're positioned. Not a lot of space around the pool, Matty. You've really got to get in nice and early, uh, yeah. get your spot, and that's you for the week. For those who don't know it, there's uh, an attached uh, diving area with a 25 metre pool. And I think half the kids and half the clubs yeah. are congregating there as well because there is no space in the pool side. But uh, certainly yeah. a good sounding vocal crowd up here in the gallery, Robert. So a diff different age groups this afternoon, um, 11 to 13, um, and uh, the top 10 in each age group qualify for finals uh, this evening, and 14-year-olds is uh, one age group in its own right. So our first event is the female 11-14, 200 metres backstroke. We have seven heats. So the first one, we have uh, Smoke Shaw from Best in zero, Charlotte Hewitt, Born the Bass Club two, Sorry, in one, two, Christina Grubb, City Glasgow, three, Ziva Smith from Geary, four, Emma Patterson, City Glasgow, five, Eve Palmer, Swim West Lothian, six, Evie Clark from Trojan, seven, Iona Kellogg from Dumfries, eight, Lucy Carslow, on the Bass Club, and nine, Phoebe Simpson from Geary. And they're underway, as we can see. And a 200 metres backstroke here, early leader at the moment, lane zero from best is Isabel Shaw. And out in lane eight, that's Lucy Carslaw from Warrender Bath. And let's see as he come up to the turn, that's, that's how it remains. All up to the wall now, 37.79 for Isabella. Lucy nice Carslaw. strong start, Matty. Yep. Yeah, very off the box, very quickly there, Robert. So um, yeah, she's giving her a, herself a good a good start for this uh, this first heat. Thirteen year old from Best, Isabella Shaw in Lane Zero, and she's um, she's giving herself a wee bit of a distance ahead of the field at the moment, but still keep my eye over and Lucy, one of the bath swimmer in uh, in Lane Eight. Oh, 
a look at see what they do at the uh, wall. 24-4. It's going very nicely. Uh, certainly the two girls, uh, one and two, are certainly pacing inside 250 at the moment. But uh, the girl on the near side going really well, Matty. Yep, she's doing extremely well. Um, 2.49.6 was the uh, quickest qualifying time. But, uh, yeah, she's uh, she's set herself off well as Isabella. Let's see if she can keep that up. 100 in. And you see different styles of uh, how they swim backstroke. Some of uh, them, the arms are coming out the water fairly slowly and steadily. Some are coming out faster. Um, just to get that uh, pull out the water. And the roll of the shoulders is often different. Sometimes with yeah. the cameras, you're getting the, when you're getting the camera at the end, you get a good view of that different styles. But So that she's holding her lead, Isabella Shaw, here. She set off very quickly off the blocks. 2.50.83 was her qualifying time. S certainly looks to be uh, a second or two inside that, but finishing very strongly, yeah. Ava Smith. Coming through extremely strongly as Ava. The gear is swimming. Gear is swimmer yeah, she's and, certainly uh, burst there. she might just sneak in and take this one fourth at the uh, north districts and she takes the heat in 246.30 as well shot a early leader won't be uh, upset at a 247.38 and uh, lucy carswell over in lane eight 248.83 excellent uh, start for those three girls all under 250 and that's uh, that ideal great swim. for them. Great swim from Ava yep. there, just held back. Yep. And uh, that burst of speed towards the end took her right through the field. So, yeah, good swim there. On to uh, Heat 2. Lane 0 is Belle Adamson from Carnegie. Lane 1 is Olivia Begbie, Warren de Bath. 2 Sky Petrie from Money Feath. 3 is Emmeline Eels from Kingston Royal. 4 Cara Broadley from Stirling Swimming. 5 is Ava O'Neill from Carnegie. 6 Ellie Brown from Faltus. Millie Tor is in lane 7 from Tynemouth. In lane 8, it's Libby Tweedy from Geary. And in 9 from Glenrothes, it's Amy Horsborough. Well, you don't get too many 11 year olds uh, at uh, national age groups, but we were an 11 year old uh, all the way from Kingston Royal. Uh, Scott uh, Emily O. So uh, we'll see how she goes. But at the moment, Matty, it's. Uh, Lane five and lanes four, very prominent, along with uh, Ellie Brown in lane six. Also up there in lane one, Olivia Begbie, and it is Olivia, just uh, as your camera got just a fraction ahead of Ellie Brown, Eva O'Neill, Libby Tudy, and Cara Broadley, all well there. Four or five uh, in a mix here, Matty. Yeah. It's a red cap. Just uh, possibly just shading it, but uh, coming through very strongly, Ellie Brown in lane six uh, from Fault House Penguins. Yeah, very little between these two, Robert. Yeah. Very little between them. And certainly, yeah, uh, Fault House swim swimmer. Approaching the, Looks uh, as though she's maybe going to take this one. Ava O'Neill in five. Looks to be second and very close. For third military, 121. Slightly slower than the last one. Ellie Brown now. Uh, still there or thereabouts, but uh, military coming through to try and get in the mix. Our leader still uh, very prominent, Olivia Begbie. Uh, Eva O'Neill in lane five. Carnegie swimmer between these two at the moment. And uh, six at, at uh, Easter Six uh, was Olivia. And uh, you see the black cap uh, there of uh, Carnegie. Olivia turning ahead the there. Fair a little yeah. between her and Eva O'Neill. Eva O'Neill fourth at Easter Six. So the two Easter Six swimmers, Warner and Carnegie, looks as though. It's between those two, and the Wanda swimmer looks as though she's got a good uh, body length yeah. advantage coming down the final stretch. Olivia Begbie. Yeah, she's really pulled looks off that lead. to take this one from uh, Ava O'Neill, two 13 year olds. 
who were sixth and fourth at uh, East Districts. They're going to finish uh, first and second in our second heat. And uh, Billy Torrey, I think, will be the, the third one home. And yeah, great last again, leg there for uh, Olivia. Excellent swims from both girls. Very good last leg for Olivia there. Yeah. Sub, sub 40. And that's a uh, good fun result. And uh, again, some excellent PBs from some of these younger swimmers. Yeah, it's a good time, 2.43.11 yeah. for her there, for Olivia. 2.48 qualifying time. We didn't get too many f really fast times from Small the swimmers this morning, yeah. but the younger swimmers, we expect uh, a lot of them to uh, take quite a chunk off their entry time. Olivia Davis in zero from Midlothian. One, Hannah McCraig from South Ayrshire. Two, Isla McBride from Kingston. Three, Elise Flockhart, University of Aberdeen Performance. Four, Emily McGuire, South Ayrshire. Five, Sophie Anderton from Tynemouth. Six, Annabelle Lapping, Logan Beerstead. Seven, Alvia Shetty from Ren 96. Eight, Millie Swinney from Gateshead in Wickham. And nine, Ellie Carnegie from St Thomas. Early Flockart off there early, as was uh, Kava Shetty, is it, from Ren 96. So between these two, I think, ahead of Kava Shetty. We're just edging it as we come up to the first wall. So Annabelle Lappin showing 36 9 9. Lane 6 swimmer. From Mulgai Bears Den. Strong, she's, yeah, she's pretty strong the start head, from yeah. her. Yeah, she's gone out extremely strongly yeah. and maintaining a good advantage even at this early stage. Let's see how the se second uh, 50 develops. Looking very comfortable with it, I have to say. She's easily turning ahead of the field here. Caviacetti, uh, probably just in second, but not much. Uh, between second, third, and the rest. So 117.34 there for Annabelle, that's yeah, a fast a time. Very strong start. It's four seconds up in the previous yeah, heat. Yeah, she maintains this, she's sub 40 in this one. At the moment, she's looking comfortable. Yeah. She's gone a long way clear now, Matty. Yeah. I'd be very surprised if anyone gets near her now. She's got anything left in the tank for a, a, a sprint down this last 50, then nobody's getting near her. Olivia Davis coming through very strongly in the second half of the race. The Midlothian swimmer in that green cap on the near side here. Let's see if anybody's got anything. I think that gap's too, too wide for anyone to think about catching her. Let's see what second place is. Annabelle Lappin out on her own in lane zero. That's uh, Olivia Davis from Midlothian. Pulling that back, but I think with the hard work's been done yeah. at the early stages. That's your one two. Olivia Davis, lane. bronze medalist at East District, is certainly going to get second here, but uh, it's a cracking swim here from Annabelle. Yeah. Kavia Shetty holding third on her own this year and has a push now to oh. come forward. Look at lane five. Sophie Anderson, I think, maybe. Just at the wall. 241.27 for that. Nice couple of PBs from the first two home there. The screen's having a little problem uh, showing us that result. There we have it. 241.27 for that. Annabelle. And 244.73 Olivia. Kelly Shetty, 246.98 in third. As we move on to our fourth heat. And we have Amy Rimmer in lane zero from Bells Hill, and one is Isla Hanna from Perth City. Two is Lula Min Milne from City Glasgow. Three, Kayla Smith, City Glasgow. Four is Heather Club from Aberdeen Dolphin. Five is Emily Taylor from South Lanarkshire. Six is Isla Rossu from Renfrew. Seven is Macy Laidlaw from East Lothian. Eight is Kyla McGaughy from City Glasgow. And a nine from Cumbernauld is Rebecca Waters. 
Heather Cobb, fastest qualifier in this heat with a 2.41.8. She's swimming in lane four. Aberdeen Dolphin swimmer. Early leader is Isla Rosso. Hope I'm saying that right. Renfrew swimmer in lane six. She's giving herself a, a good wee lead initially. Then we're getting drawn back now, Robert. She started well. I think she just pushes his shade six. Ella Hani in lane one, I think yeah. turning in second. But there's uh, a little problem at the moment uh, showing us uh, who's the actual leader, but I do think it's still Ella Russo. 35.68, 35.78, Hani. Between these two, but. Isla has led from the start. She had a good, she had a really good start. Yeah, the club and Isla, t uh, Emily Taylor between them in the middle lanes, uh, not out of it either. But uh, the Renfrew Bass swimmer in lane six, Isla Russo, has uh, opened up a wee bit of a gap now. One fifteen fourteen. Looks as though uh, she's going to push on. The best she can here. And she does look like she's doing that. She is starting to pull away. Second place, I think, is Delilah. But yeah. Four and five are starting to have a, a good go back. Heather Club and Emily Taylor, Aberdeen Dolphin, and Seth Lanarks are swimming respectively in four and five. Isla Rosso very much making this one her own. Yeah, this one at the West District Championships. So that's Isla turning one and a half seconds ahead of Isla. I think Isla's holding on to this quite well. Isla Rosu as she comes down. 25 metres to go for her. Second place looks like it's changing now. And I think Heather Club from Aberdeen yeah. Dolphins just starting to edge forward now ahead of... Uh, our early second place swimmer Isla Hanna. Yeah. Certainly Isla Rosso has uh, totally dominated this one, hasn't she? A very good heat of this one, so she has. Let's see what she finishes on. 2.38.04 for her. Very good. That's an excellent swim. Yeah, four seconds. Quicker. Four and a half second improvement. Yeah, That's a big, big uh, drop. Yeah, the club bet. Uh, I'm sure you'll be happy with that solid swim of 2.41.06 in second. And in third was Emily Taylor, 2.41.20. Again, another good solid swim for her. Moving on now to heat five of seven. Lane zero, Irish player on Finns. And lane one's Amy Rowe from City Glasgow. And two, it's Maddie Hull from Warren de Bath. Three's Abbey Coventry from Morpeth. Four is Casey Dixon, South Lanarkshire. Lane five is Hannah Lafferty from Atlantis. Six is Cleo Howe from West Lothian. Seven, Katie Aitchison from Warren de Bath. Eight is Charlotte McGavin from South Lanarkshire. And then lane nine from East Lothian is Morvan Kenny. Casey Dixon, lane four. That was a 2 3 1. 6 qualifier. At the moment, looks like. Uh, it's lane threes. That'll be Coventry, Morpeth swimmer with the early lead. And about a metre ahead or so over Hannah Lafferty. Up off the wall, let's see what her split is. 34.98. Leads Hannah Lafferty in second and Marie Hull in third. Uh, I think it looks like she's continuing just to stretch out a little bit more. Uh, the swimmer from Morpeth, Abbey uh, Coventry, leads the field down. And now coming up towards the uh, halfway mark, 100 metres split in the last heat was 115.14. It's going to be quicker this one. Going into time uh, 235.44, which she did a way back uh, last year in this pool, Matty, at the summer meet. Right, so. Okay. Um, you maybe expect her to go a wee bit quicker in this one. Certainly looking good for it here. Yeah. 
You can see the line for second is uh, that's a difficult one. It's starting to bunch up a little bit there. Oh, this is a commanding swim. It is. I kind of feel that she maybe not done this uh, for a wee while since uh, it's a an very old time. old time. Yeah, an old time. Maybe not, done, maybe not even swam at short course. Yeah. But well clear at this uh, this point. 151.97. Well, if she can come back in a similar split, we're looking around about the uh, 2.30 mark, and that'll be a massive drop from the uh, 2.35. But uh, she may not push it too much. She knows that uh, she'll be back for a swim this evening. Tonight, yeah. But, uh, wow, she is really stretched out there, Robert. She's certainly not yeah. holding back. Just 13 last year as a 12-year-old winning the summer meet, and uh, also finishing bronze medalist so she'll fancy her chances this year in that 11 30 category uh, be, being top dog uh, lovely swim from that her 230.17 well done Abby Cracking swim in lane for four Abby Casey Dixon well there just touched out by Chloe Houghton 236.46 and 238.19 Chloe and Casey That result now uh, confirmed. Claire Hudson from Swimmer Slowly taking second. Casey Dixon, South Lanarkshire taking third. So we move on to the sixth of the seven heats. In lane zero, we have uh, Maya Loon from I think one, Grace Haddo, South Ayrshire, two, Rosie Stutchfield, Warner Bass Club, three, Megan Ferris, Cumbernauld, four, Annie Hutchin from Stirling Swimming, five, Lucy Rapper from Morpeth, six, Rebecca Mailing from Belsill Shark, seven, Abby Henderson, South Lanarkshire, eight, Eva Gordon, City Glasgow, and nine, Christina Angeltakis from the Slothian Swim Team. Second of the seeded heats, a good strong start from uh, Lucy Rapper in lane five. Also going well, uh, Anne Hutchin, and over in lane eight, Eva Gordon. Four and five have it at the moment. Uh, looks that way. Anne Hutchin and Lucy uh, Raper from Morpeth. And it's going to be Anne Hutchin from Stirling that's taking the turn first ahead of Lucy Raper. Lucy's time comes from uh, Northumberland and Durham meet uh, where she was uh, silver medalist 232.15 and stretching out Robert, Anna, Annie sorry stretching out 231.10 she qualified in Bill Sill Sharks Rebecca Malling she looks uh, third at the moment 13 year old let's compare this to the previous seat That'll be Coventry's 112.85. Just slightly out of that. Lucy Raper second, Rebecca Marlin in third place. Rebecca running up at the Bells Hill uh, winter meet. At the moment she's uh, just holding third, but there's a whole raft of swimmers. Uh, not a million miles back on her, especially Eva, Eva Gordon, Gordon, the yeah, uh, yeah. summer over in lane eight from uh, City Glasgow. At the moment, uh, one and two look pretty cut and dried I now, Matty. So. Yeah, Annie's uh, she's well ahead of the field here now. Uh, Lucy Raper in first and second from the start, really. So three seconds between Lucy and Eva, but there's still all to play for for that third place. No well, question about the outright leader here, though, Annie. Well, she swims for Stirling Swimming, so I've, uh, I should know a wee bit about her, but uh, she's a new name to me, Matty. Okay. Well, I've been impressed with your knowledge so far. Maybe you just need to do a wee bit more study. In well, there. yeah. She, she maybe just moved into the Stirling area. That's where I'll put it down to, Matty. But uh, she goes comfortably up. winning this one. Absolutely. 2.32.13. Second place is Lucy... Raper 235.18 and Rebecca just hangs on to take third ahead of Eva Gordon 
238-41. We'll wait and see if uh, that 238 is good enough to get into a final. And this is I think it's uh, every chance it may. Coming on to the final heat. Heat seven. Abigail Fagan, N0 from Ren 96. One, Nelly Fee, East Lothian Swim Team. Two, Lauren Dunlop, Dumfries. Three, Freya Keeling, Carnegie. Four, Nicole Asula from Hamilton, Dubai. Five, Madison Christophers from Aberdeen Dolphins. Teammate Kalila Smith is also uh, Aberdeen Dolphins. Seven, Eva Pettigrew from Cumbernauld goes in seven. In eight, Anna Gill from Carnegie. And in nine, we have Millie Serrell from Geary. That uh, is not now confirmed. Possibly uh, maybe a nod time just being adjusted. But, uh, that confirmed. And that uh, uh, those are the 10 swimmers I've just read out taking part in the seventh and final heat. This could be so, a good so heat. Yeah, someone from Hamilton, Dubai, 13-year-old, another 13-year-old, uh, 2.29.97. Oh, bit nice to see how she does. That uh, time from the uh, Eminence meet. And you see it, that's uh, the orange cap in the middle in lane four, but a strong st start from Kalila Smith. Yeah, good, uh, good start there for Kalila. Teammate Madison Christopher is also well there, so the, the two Dolphins well there, and uh, also in lane one, Ellie Fee, well, Nicole. very prominent, he slowed the swimmer. Nicole has come right forward there, um, the two Dolphin swimmers had to lead over her, but uh, just towards the Two thirds mark of that first leg. She's uh, taking the lead and she looks very comfortable here. So, a Dubai swimmer out ahead of second place, Madison Christophorus, and her teammates just behind her, Kalila Smith. That's how they'll turn. One, two, three. Nicole, one, twelve, twenty five at the turn. It looks effortless, doesn't it? Totally. Totally effortless. Nice slow stroke and getting plenty pull as she brings that arm through the water. Good movement in the shoulders there, head still, yeah. looking up. She just Good camera shot. So, true to form. Yeah. We'll see how yeah, far she gets off the wall. Surfacing her down seven metres. Well, Lara Gill over in lane eight has come from, I think, a way back eighth position after 50 into a comfortable second. She's having a really commanding uh, second half of the. And, and the leaving the field behind, going yeah. really well. Leaving the remainder of the field well behind there. So she's the best home base Scott in this one. Uh, Nicole Asula. 228-24. 228-24. a goal. 233-92. And that's a big uh, drop from 238-91 for Mara. Almost uh, five seconds. Wow. Leila Smith and Fia Keeling. Third and fourth. So I'll just wait for that to be confirmed. But, uh, very commanding uh, sums from uh, both Annie and Nicole in our last two heats. So I might just be a wee delayed, just checking uh, all the times. I think uh, 2.40.79, Madison Christopher has finished in sixth. Soft touch. She was originally position eight, but uh, as we did mention this morning, uh, sometimes you don't hit the pads hard enough, enough, especially yeah, the younger yeah. swimmers uh, are notoriously bad at not hitting the pad yeah. hard. 
thankfully, as you say, we've got the red button and we've got the stopwatches. <laughs> we have, yeah. We've got safeguards. Moving on now to the next event. This is the, uh, about the 14 old male 100 backstroke. Seven, uh, six heats in this one. This is heat one, and the swimmers are in lane zero. Colin Kilpatrick from Carnegie. In lane one, Austin Graham from uh, County Leicester. And two, it's Jack Kivelhan from Ren 96. Three is Fraser Vass from Highland. Four is Yasin Hatab from Dumfries. Five is Oliver McElwraith from Cumbernauld. Six, Emilian Guys is Aberdeen Dolphin. Seven is Nathan Zaural from Dumfries. Eight, Blair Tetlow from Geary. And in nine, from first, it's Ruri Stevenson. Fraser Vass, Highland swimmer, touches the wall first. And Fraser swims with Tain, but and with Highland when the uh, swim is a composite team. So he has a lead of about a metre, metre and a half. And he's pretty much good for this one. So I don't think anyone is going to touch Fraser here, is it? Or maybe a wee push on lane seven, but uh, no, Fraser is going to take this quite comfortable. So yeah. Highland swimmer, Fraser Vars, touching the wall first and a... Uh, Oliver McElwraith just sneaking in to get second ahead of uh, Nathan Zorrall. Yeah, Oliver uh, finishing second. There's confirmation. Just quickly give you the finalists for the 11-13 uh, old girl, female 200 backstroke. Nicole Asula, Abby Coventry, Annie Hutchin, Lucy Raper, Isla Russo, Rebecca Marling, Eva Gordon, Maddy Maddy. Cool. Who? Kitty Aitchison, Megan Ferris, Emily Taylor, and Annabelle Lapping are the two reserves. So we move on to uh, second heat, and we have uh, Orn McLeod from first in zero, Daniel Rose from uh, Aberdeen in one, two, Matthew Turner, Warner Bass three, Andrew Patterson, City Glasgow four, Max Kelly, Geary five. Samuel Ruff, City Glasgow, eight, Andrew, sorry, six, Andrew Liu, Step Rock, seven, Stroon Henry, Dumfries, eight, Miss Jensen, Basketeer, City Glasgow, and nine, Sebastian Valentine from the Broch. Daniel Rose and Andrew Liu, Max Kelly, all the early front runners. Andrew Liu turning quickly on a 35-23. And still just shooting it, I think. Swimmer. Yeah, yeah, still ahead. And you can see Max Kelly in the bright yellow hat and lane four starting to pull that back. He in turns being pushed down by Andrew Patterson, City Glasgow swimmer. I think Andrew Lewis still to just going to hang on to this one. I think he is. Not by much. Andrew from Max and Andrew Patterson. Andrew Lou, step up swimmer, takes that. 1-12. 29, 112.48 Max Kelly, 113.05 Andrew Patterson. And the 14 year old uh, 200 backstroke finalists are Ara Gill, Cleo Houghton, Kalila Smith, Casey Dixon, Amirel, Freya Keeling, Rosie Stutchfield, Eva Pettigrew, Gracie Haddo, Madison Christophers, Heather Club, Elie Fee are two reserves. Three just about to start here now. Lane zero is Billy Trapp from Mount Kelly. And one Ollie Jeffers from Red 96. Lane two is Jack Morrison from Cumbernauld. Three is Daniel Valkov from University of Aberdeen Performance. And four it's Tyler Morris from Stirling Swimming. Five is Thomas Wakalich from Hart Midlothian. Six Adam Calder from Brock. Seven is Sebastian Kuklenic from First. Eight Brody Lydon, City Glasgow. And in lane nine from Wanda Bath it's Ethan Nolan. Lane seven, I think, uh, is our early leader, oh, Matty. Looks like it very much so. That's Sebastian Kuklenic, first swimmer. Second is Brody Lydon, Daniel Valkov in third. Certainly, Sebastian's put the gauntlet down here, early doors. Let's see if uh, Daniel can catch him. I don't think he is. There's 25 metres to go. 
Sebastian looking very strong for this one. So 112-29 was the previous seat. Don't think anyone's catching him now. And five metres to go. It's going to be Sebastian Finney first. Looks like a nice sweet PB though. 101 Second Bro place was Brody Lydon finishing second in 112.50 and third place Daniel Vaskov 112.89. Good when these swimmers can take it out and hang on. Good day. Uh, that was a very good leg yeah. for uh, Sebastian there. Yeah. Very impressed. Took the lead from early doors and kept it. So that result now on your screen. Well done, Sebastian. Um, on to our next heat. It's heat number four. Luke Jackson from Hamilton, Dubai to Charlie Bray, right, 96. Two Richie Saunders and Warner Bass Club. Three Amy Singula from Harold Swim Team. Four Sky Gabushkai from University of Aberdeen Performance. Six Alex Holmes, Glen Rothes. 6. Luke Thompson, Bathgate. 7. Stephens Neustack from Stranger Stingrays. 8. Julian Hawkroy from Delting. And 9. Ross Winters, East Lothian Swim Team. Strong start in lane 5. Yeah. Uh, Alex Holmes from Glen Rothes. Sky the Bunchai is keeping close with him now, though. It certainly and is. So is Nebby Singular. The Highland swimmer in lane three. He's starting to pull up and maybe overtake the guys now. So I think at the turn, it's going to be between Nebby Singular and Luke Thompson, is it? That's Alec Holmes, sorry. Just Nebby second. Sky in the Boonchai in third. Good turn from uh, the Glen Rothes lad in lane five. Still maintains a good uh, stroke rate down the final stretch. Nebby's uh, coming through strongly, and I think just uh, maybe just shades it now. Yeah, it's been a good second part of the leg here for Nebby Singular. So it looks like he's taking this heat one for Highland. Second uh, in the last year, and he Indeed. takes the heat in 106 08. Sky Kabushkai 108.09. I'll wait for uh, that just to be confirmed. I think Alex Holmes was second. Well, unfortunately, disqualification in that lane five for a technical infraction. Alex Holmes 107.18 and Luke Jackson 109.68 in third place. Well, that's nearly three seconds off a Nebby's time there. He'll be delighted yeah. with that. We move on now to Heat 5. Lane 0 is uh, Max Buchanan from Renfrew. And 1 is Brogan Smith from Glen Rothes. 2 is Logan Moffat from Bells Hill. 3 is Angus Woods from Kintyre. 4 is Khan Atka from Hamilton, Dubai. 5 is Adam Selby from Finns. 6 is Blake Herdman from Inverclyde. 7 Fraser Muir from Carnegie. 8 is Lockie Bullock from Shetland and then 9 from Aberdeen Dolphin, it's Austin McCall. So we've got a 16869 for Khan here. Uh, Hamilton Dubai swimmer in lane 4. Let's see if he can uh, beat that in the pool today. It'll be nice to see. He is the early leader, 32 2 7. Brogan Smith second ahead of third place Angus Wood. Let's see if Brogan, the Glen Rothes swimmer, can catch him. And it's all to play for now. And it looks like Angus Woods, Kintyre swimmer, has put the pressure on. Kintyre boy's doing really everything in his power to get past and uh, might have managed to, to do that. I think he has. I think he has. Down to the touch at the end uh, of the day. Lane, lane six. No, he's just yeah, got, he's it. got it. Just got, got it ahead of lane six, Brick Herman. Well done to uh, the Kintyre lad, 106.38. 34 rather. 106.70 Blake Herdman and 106.80 Kana Kai. Very good race yeah. there for Alex. Yeah, we'll, 
Well, that certainly will get him into tonight's final. We'll see how uh, he goes in the final this evening. Uh, nice to see lads coming all the way down from Kintyre, or all the way across from Kintyre. I think it's all the way up. And all the way, all the way up, yeah. <laughs> so on to uh, our sixth and final heat. Daniel Letham, Cumbernauld, N0. Logan Wright, University of Aberdeen performance in 1-2. Lance McMahon, Helensborough, 3. Harry Cook, Aberdeen Dolphins, 4. Nicholas Sisnick, City Glasgow, 5. Aidan Anderson, Aberdeen Dolphins, 6. Austin McPherson, Geary, 7. Zach Weatherhead from South Aberdeen, 8. It's Max from Corrin, South Ayrshire, and 9. Murray Johnson, Ren, well, 96. Nicholas Sisnick's went up like a rocket here. Yeah, the only swimmer under a minute going into this 58.80. Well, there's no question about this one, Robert. Yeah. But Nikolai isn't it, with three, four lengths ahead of the remaining field. Looks like Austin McPherson, the Geary swimmer, with a yellow hat there in second. Harry Cook, Aberdeen Dolphin, third. No question, outright winner. 10132 for Nikolai. Winner of this event last year is a 13 year old. Swimming up, uh, obviously, 14 and uh, looking good. Looking very good for it. Very good for it. So that concludes uh, the backstroke. We move on to the female 11 to 14, 100 metres freestyle and uh, seven heats. In heat one, the swimmers are in lane zero from Kingston Royal. Emma Line Eels. Lane one is Ayla Wilson from Kinross. Two is Georgia McLeod from Dundee City Aquatics. Three is Amy Rimmer from Bells Hill. Four is Lukey Carslaw from Warren de Bars. Five is Emma Patterson from City Glasgow. Six is Isabella Shaw from Best. Seven is Cara Broadley from Stirling Swimming. And in lane eight from South Lanarkshire is Ellie Mayher. Really close qualifying times for this group. So initially Lucy Carslaw, Warren de Bars swimmer, takes the early lead. Very close for who is in second at the moment. That's a pretty much a line to draw across. Yeah, very close, isn't it? Looking at lane two Alia, here. Alia Wilson also Wilson, well there. Yeah. 32.77. She is the leader. Ahead of Emma Patterson, lane five. So Ayla Wilson with a hammer down. As we come up to the 25 metre to go mark, it's starting to get pull back on her, lane 4, 5 and 6 Isabella Shaw, Emma Patterson Lucy Carslock let's see who's got it right up to the wall very close to call this one and I think it is going to be Emma Patterson 107.95 great second 50 for Emma there yeah Ayla just dropping back slightly a little bit after a fantastic first 50, but uh, 100 metres. Yeah. So, second heat, and a honey from Per City. One, Lucy Chand, South Lanarkshire. Two, Katie. Sorry. Katie Ray from Geary. Three, Olivia Bola from Dunfermline. Four, Millicell Geary. Five, that's in. Blowfield from Orkney, 6, Ella Russo, Renfrew Pass, 7, Megan Ferris, Cumbernauld, 8, Eva McCartney from Hamilton, Dubai, and 9, Anna Jackson from Ken Ross. 107s to 108.53. Well, well, might just be Ella Russo again, over in lane 6, going well. Anna Jackson on the far side, not out of it, and Ella Haney on the near side. Is Anna Haney, yeah. 3163. Megan Ferris went off quite well, but 
see if uh, Isla can hang on to this one. She's well, giving herself a yeah. good, good little lead here, yeah. coming down this last still, 25. Still has a nice advantage uh, yeah. with 15 to go. They're coming back at her though. Liverpool are in lane three, finishing like a train. Is she going to get up there? She's done Liverpool enough still to hang on. No, it's lane zero still from lane three and one. Alahani, 106, 97. Two seconds. 106.89 Olivia Bowler and third place 106.95. It was a chance, not a lot in that one. Two seconds off her PB there. That's yeah. uh, that was a good swim. Moving on now to heat three. Lane zero is Rebecca Marr from Renfrew. Lane one's Ailey Fee from East Lothian. Two's Kayla Smith from City Glasgow. Three Lula Milne, City Glasgow. Four is Katie Aitchison from Warren the Bath. Five is Caitlin Kirk from Glenrothes. Six is Iona Ricky Ayala from Aberdeen Dolphin. Seven is Iona Robertson, Warren the Bath. Eight is Lauren Dunlop from Dumfries. And nine is Lauren Cantley from South Aberdeen. Little 106 point something qualifiers here. Any outright leader so far, 25 metres in. And I think it's maybe looking like Iona. Enrique uh, Ayala in lane six, the early leader. Again, lane zero though. Rebecca Marr from Renfrew. She's went out quickly. Let's see, did Rebecca do enough to get the turn first? Lauren Cantley in a 31.45. So the times are coming down. Iona Robertson second. Iona Enrique Ayala third. So all the play for still here. I think maybe. Iona Rikayala is maybe just edging it at the moment. Rebecca Marsh hasn't said I'm giving up here either though. But I think lane six looks like she's maybe just in fact. Ah, it's too close for me to call. I'm off the wall, let's see what it is. And uh, she kept it. 10601 for her. Very good swim from Iona Rikayala. Yeah, Lord Cartley finished in second, 102.02, and Iona, Iona Robertson awarded third, 106.04 from the fast finishing Katie Aitchison from Wander Bass, 106.18. She was flying like a two, another five metres, and I think she just snatched that one. 1 one hundred in that between yeah. first and second there, Robert. On to heat number four. Macy Laidlaw, East Lothian swim team in 0 1, Amy Dobson, Kingston 2. Imogen Jarrett, Dundee City Aquatics, three, Al Shrenfrew, Bear City, four, Macy Adair, Glenrothes, five, Ella Flocker, sorry, Elisa Flocker, University of Aberdeen Performance, six, Sarah McGuffey, City Glasgow, seven, Connie Hart, South Ayrshire, eight, Sophie McCallum, Midlothian, and nine, Lucy Sloan from Bathgate. A strong start at uh, Green Cap uh, of Midlothian. So for McCallum over on the far side going really well. Connie Hart in lane seven beside her. So I think it's uh, Midlothian South Ayrshire and uh, Lucy Sloan also well there from Bathgate. The far side maybe have it. No, not quite Imogen Jarrett. 30-31 on this near side just turning. And Imogen Jarrett is uh, set sail. She's uh, flying down the final stretch. Stretching further away from uh, Sophie McCallum. That's going to be the one, two. Third place is up for grabs. But know that uh, that looks to be the one, two. Imogen Jarrett, Sophie McCallum, and probably lane seven, uh, not lane four. Maisie Adair, 104, 93, just snatched uh, third place. But a great swim from Imogen, 103.44. 103.90 for Sophie McCallum, Maisie Deer, 104.93. Yeah, that was a fantastic swim there from Imogen. On to heat five now. Lane zero is Christina Angelakis from East Lothian. In lane one, it's Olivia Davis from Mid Lothian. Two is Maddie Marco from Guildford. Three is Daisy Gildea, City Glasgow. Four is Amber Hinton from Dumfries. Five is Hannah Lafferty from Atlantis. Six is Cleo Houghton from West Lothian. Seven, Amber Niven from Carnegie. Eight is Eva Gordon from City Glasgow. And in lane nine from Perth City, Grace Renfrew. 
So it looks like lane two, Maddie Markle from Guildford. Practically neck and neck with uh, Hannah Lafferty. And Amber Hinton now at the wall at the same time as her. So Amber does take the turn first, 32-3 for Amber. Daisy Gildare second, Maddie Markle third. Yeah, the further Amber we go, Hinton. Amber Hinton looks strong. Right, eh? Yeah, she's away now. There's no question about the, the result of this one. Second place, I think, is going to be Hannah Lafferty. Sorry, I beg your pardon. Yeah, it's going to be uh, Daisy Gildare, is it? But no question about the winner in this heat. Amber Hinton, great swim from the Dumfries winner. Daisy Gildare, second. Amber Nibbon, third. 101-41. Looking forward to the final already, Amber Hinton, potentially a little more. Mundell from Hearts, who's uh, coming shortly. And a Hamilton Dubai swimmer, Nula Lim, goes in four. Madison Christophers in zero, Af Aberdeen Dolphins. One, Casey Dixon, South Lanarkshire. Two, Maddie Hull, Warner Bass Club. Three, Orna McCarty, City Glasgow. Four, Nathan Lim from Hamilton Dubai. Five, Alice Harper, City Glasgow, six. Mila Burrell from Glen Rothes, seven. Is uh, Alana Herbert, South Aberdeenshire, eight. Andy Hutchin from Stirling Swimming, and nine. Ella Thompson, Perth City. Well, Nadia has went straight out ahead. Madison Christopher is as fast as off the blocks, Robert, but as soon as he hit that water, Nadia Lim has just uh, she's the way out to the yeah. front. Yeah. Certainly flying, isn't she? 29.64. Yeah, we're in the sort of 101 category again. Ora McCarty, who's uh, recently moved to City Glasgow, going nicely in lane three, but a good way back. Uh, this is all done and dusted as, yeah. as it was in the previous heat. It's Nadia Lim, Alice, Alice Harper. Harper. That's the one two. Third place up for grabs. Amelia Burrell, the uh, Glen Rothes swimmer, coming through very strongly to get third, I think. That's going to be your one, two, three, one, double O, eighty nine, Alice Harper, one hundred one, eighty seven, Amelia Burrell, one hundred three, seventy five. Yeah, there was no turning back for her there. As soon as she surfaced, that was it. Game over. Nadia Lim, Hamilton, Dubai. Now moving on to the final heat. And the swimmers are in zero. Hayden Holmes from Best. One's Freya Keelan from Carnegie. Two is Brooke Stevenson from South Ayrshire. Three is Lucy Rapper from Morpeth. Four is Lily Mendel from Hart Midlothian. Five, Maya Loon from Ithan. Six, Caitlin Morton, City of Glasgow. Six is Charlotte Craig from Wren 96. And lane eight, it's Gracie Haddo from South Ayrshire. And then nine from Carnegie, it's Ava O'Neill. Well, I'm in Delaware, 1-0-0.31 yeah. qualifying time. Yeah, but uh, Lily, Lily's going well. She's out Heart already, skittle. isn't she? Think she's a way out. She started really quickly. Yeah, National Age Group champion last year and uh, means business. As she I say, Matty, I'm really looking forward to this uh, girls' 1400 Final. freestyle. We've not even got the heats underway, but uh, this will be a cracker yeah. tonight. Oh, there's no question. So Nadia in the previous one was a 1-0-0-8-9. This might be a sub a minute. Lily's qualifying time, 1-0-0-1-3. But I'll be surprised if she doesn't, to be honest. Not quite. Just, Just going to miss out of it. 1-0-0. Well, it's, as you can yeah. see, the, the clock, that uh, we don't have a, a time for her, but I think that was probably one double o fifty or as close to that. We'll wait Just for our officials to confirm that. One double o thirty, but you're right, Nadia, Lily, and Amber hinting up tonight. We'll wait for uh, that just to be confirmed. Caitlin Morton, one o two fifty one. Brooke Stevenson, one o three thirty. And that's the official result. Lily Mundell, Caitlin Morton, and Brooke Stevenson. So Lily was the quickest in that one. Yeah, yeah. So we'll just quickly give you the uh, finalists for the meals. And open 11 13 year olds Can Aka, Brogan Smith, Daniel Letham, Julian O'Croy, Andrew Lou, Charlie Braid, Daniel Vaskov, Ross Winters, Fraser Va, and Thomas 
Fussel looks Samuel Ruff and Daniel Rose are our two reserves. We'll give you the 14-year-olds very shortly as we move on to the uh, breaststroke. So this is the uh, first heat, and the swimmers are Gordon McGregor for Kilmarnock, lane one is Angus Donald, Warren de Baths, two is Jack Lees from Perth City, three is Alexander Beaton from Seagulls, four is Toby Boyd from Geary, five is Lucan, Lucas Serrells from Hartlewood Lothian, and seven, Callum Preacher from Lerwick, eight is Lewis Bowerman from Hartlewood Lothian, and nine from South Ayrshire, it's Lewis Riley, sorry, Riley, Lewis Riley, lane nine. Jack Lee's your early leader on a 41.07. Lewis far behind him, but let's see. Is he giving himself a really good lead so far? It's looking like a, a good first leg for the lane three swimmer. So watching Jack Lees from Perth City with the red hat, your leader, as he comes up to the halfway mark in this 200 breaststroke. Bright red hat there, coming up to touch the wall. There you go at the halfway mark, 47.36 for him. So a 128.43 for the first 100. He certainly uh, pulled out the stops in the first hundred there, Robert. He's miles ahead, or five metres if you want to call it more uh, accurately. <laughs> yeah, commanding advantage this, over yeah, Lewis Riley, so. who's uh, going best of the rest on the far side. So the swimmer. Some and, uh, Jack, uh, totally dominant in this one. All these lads, uh, just 13. And he's coming up to the wall now. A comfortable distance between him and second place. We'll see if that is still Lewis, but Jack Lee's turning to 23-4 there. And it is Lewis still in second place out in lane nine. Slowing up a wee bit. Now, uh, he's got a not still no anyway. good advantage, but uh, they might come back a wee yeah. bit at him. It's certainly getting closer. Still 30 metres to go. Yeah. 25 metre mark. I think he's done enough. Yeah, just beginning to tie up a wee bit here. Yeah. There's Lewis. a whole raft of swimmers uh, giving everything yeah. down the final 20 metres. Lewis Riley still hanging on there. But it uh, looks like uh, was uh, in lane six flying at the end. So, uh, yeah. It's not fully done and dusted. Oh. This is going to be a close one to call. But it's still the Perth lad, Jack Lees, who's just going to take this Whoa. from Lewis Searles. And Lewis Riley. That was a close one. He held in there. Yeah. Jack did. 310. 0.58. Three seconds. Lucas, 310.74. Just and no more. 311.58. Uh, 14-year-old uh, backstroke finalists are Nicolai Sisnett, Austin McPherson, Nebby Singular, Angus Woods, Blake Herdman, Harry Cook, Aidan Anderson, Alex Holmes, Alex Elby, Lance McMahon, Logan Muffet and Zach Weatherfield are our two reserves. And on to heat two. Heat two and the swimmers are in lane zero, Cameron Miller from South Asia. And one, Andrew Liu from Step Rock. Two is Adam Gibson from Geary. Three is Luke Todd from First. Four, Daniel Rose from Aberdeen. Five is Samuel Roth from City Glasgow. Six is Kyle Rodden from First. In lane seven, it's Oliver McHugh from Renfrew. Eight is Lyle McKelvey from Cooper. And nine is Brody Hay from Incarth. Three, oh, six, seven, eight, Daniel Rose, fastest qualifier. He's uh, true to form at the moment. Just about seven tenths of a second ahead of second place, Adam Gibson. So it's Daniel Rose in first place. Aberdeen swimmer. Also looking at the bright yellow heart of Adam Gibson. In lane three. He's pulling up here now. Sorry, lane two for the Geary swimmer. And they're pretty much coming up neck and neck. Daniel in the lead at the moment, but 
Adam Gibson pulling him back down. That lead is very, very little, if anything. I think Daniel will touch first, but there's got to be very little in it between them. But Adam's overtaking him there, but uh, it's 126.93 to 127.12, so tenth of a second in it, nothing else. So it's very close, uh, part of the second part of the race now. So you're looking at the yellow heart there in lane two, that is Adam Gibson. And two lanes up from him and four is Daniel Rose from Aberdeen. Kyle Rodden from first in lane six is in third place on his own. I think the Geary Swimmer starting to edge away a little bit further in every stroke. You can see that gap now as they come up to touch the wall for the final time. There's Adam Gibson ahead of Daniel Rose. And the third, still Kyle Rodden. Still but going well, is, he, is Adam Gibson runner up at uh, both long and short course meets up here? The district Championships. But he swam a really, really good race yeah. here, though, is, yeah. uh, is Adam. He pulled that lead back, initial lead that Daniel had. Daniel was the winner at, uh, in that meet, but uh, he's not going to. But in this one, Adam's uh, turned the tables. Certainly has. It's a comfortable win for him now, I think. That's got to be your one, two, threes. It's been for a while now. Adam Gibson finishing on a two, five, nine, four, seven. Nice swim to get under three minutes as well. Yeah, he'll be delighted with that. Yeah. His entry time was 3.08. 503850, so that's a huge difference for him. Daniel Rose second, Kyle Rodden third place. Can you fancy that'll get both those lads into tonight's final? Quite comfortably disqualification uh, in that last event. Well, that's lane seven for technical infraction. So we move on to heat number three. Tynan Beard from South Ayrshire is in zero one. Thomas Vasilou. So Thomas Vaku Lutz from Hartabad Lothian in one. Two Aidan Simpson, Morgan Beersden. Three Finlay McClelland, South Aberdeen. Four is Zach Fraser, Wellingborough. Five Ruben Lees, Warner Bass Club. Six Brogan Smith, Glen Rothes. Seven Ethan Rowland, Warner Bass Club. Eight, Max Clark, South Ayrshire, and Zach Neeson is his nine from South Lanarkshire. 2.59.57 to 3.06.6 are the entry times. Brogan Smith went out really quickly there. Robert he certainly did. The wall. 37.85. Nearly, nearly two seconds a, a lead after the first length, so um, a great chance he's given himself here. Oh, he's still going very nicely indeed. And Rogan Smith has a uh, pretty commanding advantage at this early stage. Coming down towards uh, the halfway mark. Already uh, three or four clear. And this is significantly faster than the previous heat. 120.88 for Brogan. East District Champion, finalist at the summer meet. Well, it'll be a fight to try and catch him now. Oh, it's one of the extreme, extremely fast Brogan yeah, there. Yeah, we only have uh, one further 13 year old to come in this, so we're looking at him having potentially pole position for the final. Zach Fraser in so second place here, but um, he's not going to catch that car that he's brought on here. Brogan's flew out the start. 3.01.67 is entry time at uh, the Comey Pool just uh, a month or so back at uh, the East Districts. 2.07.60, well, 
We're probably looking somewhere in the mid 250s here. Zach Fraser is also uh, going extremely well in second place. Third, third place over in lane eight. Max Clark from uh, South Ayrshire. First at the end meet. And uh, he's pretty comfortable for third place. But, uh, this is uh, a super swim. Super, super swim. Zach's Might even be inside 255. That's uh, 254, 43. Oh, I thought he was going to be pretty close to 255. Zach Fraser, 256.95. Max Clark, 259.59. Zach Fraser from Wellingborough. I'll be pleased uh, with that swim. So we move on to the fourth heat. In zero, we have Ben Ziggenzak from University of Aberdeen Performance. One, Zach Weatherhead, South Aberdeen. Two, Luke Thompson, Bathgate. Four, sorry, three, Austin McPherson, Geary. Four, is Cameron Jolly, University of Aberdeen Performance. Five, Ryan Crabb, Ryan 96. Six, is Michael Gavin, University of Aberdeen Performance. Seven, Angus Woods from Kintyre. Eight, Richie Saunders, Warner Bass Club. And nine, Tyler Maurice from Stirling Swimming. All these uh, lads, 14, 246.53 to 259.50. This is the first of the three seeded heats, so expect all the fireworks really to be in the middle lanes uh, yeah. for us, uh, Matty. And that's uh, partly what's happened. Cameron Jolly and Austin McPherson in four and three. Not that far behind is uh, Michael Gavin in lane six. So, 36.48. So, really, really good start so far for Cameron Jolliet, University of Aberdeen performance swimmer. Still all to play for. Just the uh, Geary's Austin McPherson just behind him. Yeah, it's a good 100. Timing in 117.65. Second, Austin McPherson and Michael Gavin in third. Let's see if there's a wee gap. That yeah. We're certainly in the 240-ish range here yeah. now. And the, uh, that gap's closing. So Austin McPherson's pulling that back. Is Cameron maybe gone out a little bit too quick because uh, yeah. Austin certainly pulled that back and I think maybe just overtaking him now, is he? Uh, very little in it. Uh, uh, I think you're right, Austin uh, has just sneaked in to the lead. So at the turn. 2 or 2 dead. So we're potentially in the sort of mid 240s range here. Bright yellow heart for Geary. That's uh, and, and pulling Austin further McPherson. away. Yeah, and he is pulling that out. Cameron looking strong for second. Ryan Crabb, who's the fast, second fastest on entry time, a long way back in, uh, I think, fifth place now. Yeah, Michael Garvin's looking good for third. The fight's still on at the front here as he come down. Oh, wait a minute, look at this. Is there an overtake on again here? You know, I think Cameron Jolly's just maybe done it. Nope. Oh, so, so close. Very little in it. Just kept in there, did Austin yeah. McPherson. Good swim from the Geary swimmer. Yeah, not much in it. 1600s, 244.85, Austin McPherson, Cameron Jolly, 245.01 and 248.35, Michael Gavin. Now on to our penultimate heat. Swimmers are in lane That's zero. Now confirmed. As uh, Boyd Fernside. And lane one is Ewan Rose, Ewan Ross, sorry. And two is Alex Cantley. And three is Logan Muffet. And four is Aaron Machen. And five is Stephens Nastukes. 
Six is Thomas Murphy. Seven, Andrew Patterson. Eight's Matthew Jack. And a nine, Max Kelly. Just give you 11, 13 olds, 100 freestyle. For the females, Maddie Hull, Annie Hutchon, Maddie, Maddie McKell, Eva Gordon, Charlotte Craig, Lucy Reaper, Olivia Davis, Katie Aitchison, Sarah McGuffey, and Isla Hanney, Olivia Bowler, and Elsa Chand are reserves. Yeah, the leader here looking like it's uh, lane three, Logan Moffat from Bells Hill. And he's just ahead of Aaron Machen, City Glasgow swimmer, and five, I think. Oh no, a bigger pun. There you go, Aaron Machen just took it to turn. 37 7 5. Second place, Logan Moffat, third, Alec Cantley. Still between these first two swimmers. They are bunching up a little bit towards the uh, end of uh, this leg. But Aaron Machen still with the lead. He's the current National Age Group champion, Matty, so you'd expect him to be yeah. very prominent and uh, certainly get into tonight's final. And he's looking pretty good at the moment. Uh, there's a, a raft of swimmers right on his tail. 1.1981. Stefan Ustax, the Stranraer uh, swimmer, got a second off in that distinct orange cap in lane five. Andrew Patterson and Sivins, not a million miles off the pace either. Yeah, he had a, a good leg there, Andrew uh, Patterson from uh, City Glasgow. Uh, still stepping, Nars Dukes in first place, so Nars swimmer in lane four. So I beg your pardon, Aaron Mate in lane four. Or less led from the start here, Robert. Yeah, and Stephens right on his shoulder though. See if he can catch him on the way back down. So at the turn, Stephen took him. about a half second out of uh, that lead there. Andrew and Patterson uh, not done with either. And it looks like Stephens. And Stephens uh, hit the front. And look at the speed of Stephens now coming down his uh, final 50. And uh, sprinting away. Look oh, at the. Yeah. Yeah, he is in a different league himself now. What a sprint he's put on there. Stepping nasty to our swimmer in lane five. With a bright orange heart. 2.42.53. Well, that was an impressive end. Yeah, that was uh, some swimmer. 38 34 he came back. Very impressive swim altogether there. Some swim. Well done, Steppens. So our 14 old uh, freestyle Limondell, Nadia Lynn, Amber Hinton, Alice Harper, Caitlin Morton, Daisy Gildee, Brooke Stevenson, Imogen Jarrett, Maya Loon, Fria Keeling, Mila Burrell, and Sophie McCallum are two reserves. And that's going to be a race and a half. That certainly will be a race and a half. Barely a second between the first three. That'll be closer tonight, I think. That'll be interesting to see that one. So we're moving on now to the final heat. And lane zero, Jasper Broom from South Ayrshire. And one, it's Fraser Muir from Carnegie. Two's Blake Hernan from Inverclyde. Three is Charlie Cardam from Perth City. Four is Fabio de Armas from Hamilton, Dubai. And six, sorry, in five, it's Rudy Vick from Orinder Bath. Six is Louis Bray, Inverclyde. Seven is Jack Higney from Cumbernauld. Seven is Sky Nubunchai from University of Aberdeen Performance. And in lane nine, it's Jensen Basqueta from City Glasgow. So early doors, Ruri Vick from Warrender in the red hat as the early leader. Coming up to touch. 35-27 for Ruri, Fabio de Armas second, and Sherlock Adam 36-82 for the pair swimmer. It's still very close, but Rudy holds the lead. The Warren the swimmer ahead of Fabio de Armas. And I think maybe it's Fabio just stamped to edge a little bit forward. No, it's pretty much neck and neck still. So 
Let's see if Ruri can touch that wall first at the yeah. halfway mark. There can't be much between these two. Yeah. One fifth. A tenth. Yeah. Tenth of a second. Tenth, yeah. Ruri, Vic ahead of Fabio de Armas and Charlie Adam. Well, the Wonder Summers uh, certainly pulling out all the stops here. And now you can just see he's starting to edge away a little bit, uh, Ruri, ahead of Fabio here. Slightly a bit, about half a metre ahead, metre ahead. Uh, yeah, it looks about half a metre. East District champion, uh, winner of the summer meet and runner-up in this event last year, Ruri. And uh, certainly and still uh, seems to have all the answers. And yeah. out the turn, uh, a really good turn. He's uh, extended that lead a wee bit, Matty. Almost a second in it now, Robert. Almost a second there in that last 50. And if anybody's uh, going to make a move, Fabio's got to do it pretty soon. I think, that's, uh, I think uh, it's all done and dusted done. with uh, less than tw 20 to go. Yeah, there's more of a fight for the uh, third place here. That's between Charlie Cardam, the Red Heart, and lane three. And yeah, lane six. Yeah, Lewis, Lewis Bray, Bray coming through very strong. And Verkleis Swimmer might even snatch third, but uh, well done, Rudy. Good turn for Rudy, yeah. 236. Still up well. Fabio takes second. And just hanging on for third was uh, Terla Karam. Bear swimmer, 2.46.29. Uh, first two well clear of the rest. And uh, 2.36.11, that's uh, some time. Much I'm faster than the other two that. heats. Absolutely delighted with that. So uh, they'll be uh, head to head again tonight. So the Hamilton uh, Dubai swimmer will. Uh, Need to do his homework and figure out how he's going to uh, get in front of absolutely. him this time round. Yeah, absolutely. Or maybe he was just saving himself. Well, we maybe, just yes. don't know. For the final, we don't know. We'll, I'm sure it'll all come clear later yeah. on. This is moving on now to the uh, 1500s again. So we already had three heats of the 1500 this morning. Which was nice to have, yeah. Yes, absolutely. Thoroughly enjoyed that. Yeah, I think it's great to see that we've got two heats of uh, the younger girls going head to head in here three reserves maybe a bit of a bigger appetite for it now Robert yeah any much so the fastest qualifier in here is a 1950 Amelia Burrow but your swimmers are in lane zero from Money Fee the Sky Petrie and lane one is Emily Taylor from South Lanarkshire and two it's Eve Palmer from West Lothian Lane three, Rebecca Reid from More in the Baths. Four is Amelia Burrell from Glenrothes. Five is Rebecca Marlin from Bells Hill. Six is Rosie Stutchfield from More in the Bath. Seven is Ava Smith from Geary. Lane eight is Amy Horsborough from Glenrothes. And then lane nine from Kingston Royal is Emmeline Ailes. So 1950.56 through to 20. Point three, sorry, twenty thirty point eight five. So all pretty much reasonably close times. And coming down to complete the first hundred meters. Not expecting anything to settle it, settle it, settle it. Takes a while. Such a long race. It's the early leader will be laying threes. One in the bath. And that's um, Rebecca Reid. So Rebecca, first 100, 110.84. Second place was Amelia Burrell. And third place at the moment is Ava Smith. As you can see, very early doors and uh, pretty much a straight line across three swimmers in the second place. But so Rebecca Reid is out early doors as the leader it's and all these places are vital um, because we have uh, as, as you rightly right to say Matty two heats 10, 14 year olds over the two heats yep. so uh, there's points up for uh, first to 10 and uh, we've got uh, 10 swimmers in the 11 to 13 year old age group so the very same position uh, we find ourselves 
So even if you're a 13 year old and you're in the outside lane, you want to go as fast as you can and try yeah. and get, uh, you get a medal, great, but uh, a PB and a fast time and get points for your, your club. So as we said uh, earlier today. Yeah, Talked them up at the end of the day, yeah. The top 10 clubs we announce each day how th each of the teams are doing. Last year's winners, City of Glasgow from Warner Baths. Um, kind of the starting line up there, Emmeline Ailes from Kingston Royal, 11 year old. Yeah. And uh, entry time of 20, 30, 85. That's a pretty decent time for an 11 year old. Yeah, I would agree with you there. There's some 15 year olds that can't even swim as fast as that, but uh, I'm sure they can swim an awful lot better and faster than we could. <laughs> we'd, we'd probably be 20 days and 30, 30 hours. <laughs> but Rebecca Reid uh, has gone out pretty well and uh, it's a nice healthy advantage. Yeah. Just at so this early stage of the race, just to see where they. Start we'd kicking them yeah. with their pace in. Yeah, we ex expect round about 3.47 if she's gone off uh, 110 and then uh, another 78. So well, let's just check that. She comes up to complete 300. Uh, 3.44. Well, that first uh, was almost a 111. The next one was uh, just under a 78. Yeah. That one there was around about 76. So for the younger swimmers, it's get themselves uh, into a steady pace. But we sometimes don't get that in the first yeah, few yeah. hundred. It's a bit up and down. I think we'll probably see a more settled swim as of now. 300 in, yep. coming up to 350. She's looking strong enough at the moment, Rebecca Reid. Oh, 23-3-3, 38.8. Still half a second ahead of the closest rival in that one. So that gap is definitely getting a little bit bigger. So a 38.88, that last uh, 50, which was a bit slower than the previous one. Let's see what... The split is. Uh, so we'll see if she's sort of settled into something pretty close to say 77 pace, uh, 78, then a 76. We start seeing that a bit so now, uh, yeah. We'd expect uh, probably 77s, uh, so I expect something pretty close to 618 ish. Uh, Rebecca Marling, the uh, Bills Hill Shark swimmer, probably about two metres clear of three or four girls, uh, all very much of a muchness there. Thirty-eight, eight that time, so she's steadying out now. Still pulling away from the rest of the field. That's Rebecca Reid coming up to the third distance. This will be her completing 500 metres. So commandingly out in front here. So 500 metres, she is a 618.83. And again, around about a 77.5 there. So some, something around 7.36 ish split if she's going to keep a pretty steady pace it's still still uh, Rebecca Marling uh, in second place just ahead of uh, in lane two Eve Palmer from Swim West Lothian slightly slower than that one thirty nine yeah, twelve. So but that's uphill again as you said, Robert. Yep. Yeah. Uh, 
Yeah, that's uphill. Well, commanding advantage is uh, pacing a good half a second or so faster than uh, most of the swimmers. So Just a that lead. Yeah. Uh, last one. Let's see her split time for this 50. 39.12 to 39.2. So yeah. a bit tiny, a bit slower again. She's actually dropped the pace. That was over the 78 there. So maybe six, just begin to fuel the pace. Maybe, yeah. That wee bit. 7.37.15 for our time so far. But yeah, that gap is uh, pretty much the same. She maybe just settled right into her stride now. See if she does better than a 39.2 for her last split. She's settled now into the groove. 39.5, so it's slowing down yeah, a little bit. she is bit. slowing down. Um, so we'll just have to keep an eye on uh, someone's behind. Becca Marling, 40.09. 39.17 at a turn for Emily. Eve Palmer, 39.27. In fact, Emily Taylor in lane two has yep. come through very strongly along yep. with uh, Eve Palmer to challenge uh, for that second place. Rebecca Marling still well there, but three swimmers almost together. And that's uh, a wee bit quicker that time for Rebecca. I think she almost got the message. Yep. 8.55.62. Coming up to the halfway mark when she touches the wall at the, the other end. <laughs> so second place at the moment still Rebecca Mullen. But lane one, Emily Taylor now. It's just starting to edge ahead, I think. Emily maybe will be turning first. The second lot anyway, turning second, should I say. And she does 39.63 for that uh, for that leg. And, uh, second place could be quite important here. As with three swimmers, uh, three 13 year olds uh, to come in the last heat. That would be the marker for yeah. a potential medal. For medals, yeah. So here's at the wall now, that's 800 metres in. 10, 13, 52. Uh, she stepped up a wee bit there, Robert. 39, yeah. just about 39 dead. Second, still leave Palmer ahead of Emily Taylor. So these two are pretty neck and neck, are they? Side side, between two them. And three. Yeah, yeah, three hundredths of a second. <laughs> so it looks like the lanes one and two. Eve Palmer and Emily Taylor. Just outside that one. Yeah, girls in second and third, uh, pacing probably half a second or so slower. Coming down now to complete the 900 metres. Becca Reid well cleared now and uh, a wee gap just beginning to open up. Second and third, uh, Emily Taylor and Eve Palmer. So a 39-3 for that split. She's keeping there uh, thereabouts. Yeah, yeah, it's something round about the 78 and a half ish Emily Taylor second ahead of Eve Palmer. So these two are still pretty close together. Very tough race, isn't it? Very tough. Yeah, especially at this point. 
we're we're getting uh, roughly two thirds of the way through the race. This is where it really begins to hurt for some of the swimmers. Have to dig deep here now, yeah. Uh, it's very very challenging. Uh, you want to sometimes pick up the pace, and uh, there's nothing in the tank, and you just got to keep battling on. And uh, keep going. If you're, if you're going. doing seventy eights, all of a sudden it becomes seventy nines, eighties, and you want to make it seventy sevens at the last two or three hundred. And uh, sometimes you just got to battle to get it back to seventy eight. And it's, it's so much mental agility needed in this sort of races, isn't there? So that's a thousand metres in now. Yeah. 12.58.5. And then there's other times where you're absolutely cruising at halfway and uh, you pick it up that much that you do a negative split. That would be nice to see. It doesn't happen terribly often, no. but uh, when it does, it's uh, nice to see. So a thousand metres gone. 500 to go. I'm layered for the start. Uh, again, Rebecca sometimes uh, race, yeah, just listening to uh, what your coach tells you, you know, swim to instructions, you might be told, yeah. go slowly and build up build. from about halfway. And, uh, some of the younger swimmers are able to uh, actually pay attention to their coach. <laughs> Doesn't it happen very often? <laughs> no. As you know, Matty. Of course, you see, in the water here, that they've just got to do it in feel and pace, and haven't they? So, looking at a 14.08, roughly, well, 14.09, as a split here at 11. Emily Taylor, a good uh, almost three seconds plus ahead, now almost getting on to four. Well, it's just just let it drop a wee bit and this is I say it's where it's really hard uh, to try and keep it going for the yeah. next couple of hundred metres you can see the tiredness in the turns yeah. as well like they're up to breathe much much quicker than it would ordinarily be well virtually four seconds uh, between Emily Taylor and Eve Palmer now mm -hmm. at uh, 1100 Eva Smith uh, in fourth place. Can she find something, uh, Eva Smith? The Geary swimmer over the final stages to try and stick herself into second place. So Emily Taylor still second. Eva third. Yeah, four seconds between them with uh, Still seven lengths to go. So Eva's really going to pick up half a second literally on it's every 50 a as a minimum. It looks like Rebecca's just starting to up it a little yeah. bit, is she? So quite close to the lane ropes there. So coming down to uh, 12.50, as you can see the lap card getting uh, put for our leading summer. And again, pretty steady 39s. So we'd expect uh, 1648 at the turn. Yeah, our, uh, our pace has been very good here. Up to 1300 so, metre mark now. So potentially looking at somewhere just a little bit under 1930 as a finish time. For Rebecca. She would be delighted with that as a 1954 qualifying time. 164869 at 1300 metres. Four lengths to go. 
Laid from the start, never looked yeah. back yet. Yeah. Warned her. Warned her heart there. And Rebecca Reid. Emily Taylor certainly looks good for second now. Good five seconds ahead. With uh, not much further to go. 200. Well, that's been our slowest, a 40 69, Matty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. As I say, uh, it begins to hurt in the final five, six hundred metres. She's going to get a real boost when she comes down towards the end of here, and here's that bell going up. The qualifying time for Rebecca, 1954. Here she comes up, and she will be hearing the bell very shortly. There you go, Rebecca. 100 metres to go. See if you can uh, up that pace, get your legs kicking. Must be such a spur for yeah. them, that one, Robert. Yeah, and that's been the slowest 100 we've seen, but a nice strong finish. Might get her in around the 19.26. Well, a 19.54 quality uh, PB, she'll be happy yeah. with that. Emily Taylor going further away in second. We'll keep an eye on uh, what her finish time is. Six seconds ahead of third place. Yeah. She's picked up a wee bit again there, 39. Three, you think it was for her last split? So sometime around about 1934. 1937 for uh, Emily Taylor in second. Yeah, well, that was uh, a very good 1500 there for Rebecca Reed from Wander Bath. Very well done. 1925 95. Sure, she'll be delighted with that one. Yeah. Emily Taylor comes in on 19.33.96. And third place, Ava Smith. And that's a 19.48.97. And that's a pretty decent swim for a 12-year-old finishing in second place. Yeah. Lane four, Maria Burrell just coming in now, just over eight, 20 minutes, 27.70. And Rosie Stutchfield in a 20.17. And out lane nine, next in, that will be our 11 year old, Emmeline Ailes from Kingston Royal. 2.30 when she qualified. She's showing her qualifying time. And then watching. Amy Horsburgh, come up to complete. That's one done. Good show from Rebecca Reid there. Yeah, very good swim. And finally, as we the watch. Final swimmer, the 11 year old. Lane zero coming in now. Sky Pete Ray. One money feet swimmer finishing at 21.13. Rebecca Reid, Emily Taylor and Ava Smith. And we did say there's two heats and this is the start of the second one. Amber Hinton should be nailed on to uh, take this pretty comfortably, I think, uh, Matty. Yeah, I'd agree with you there. Abby Coventry goes in lane zero from Morpeth. In one, Sarah McGuffey, City, Glasgow. Two, Honor McCarty, City, Glasgow. Three, Alice Harper, City, Glasgow. Four, Amber Hinton, Dumfries. Five, Chloe Houghton from West Lothian. Five, Evie Chan, round 96. Seven, Daisy Goldie, City Glasgow, 
8, Charlotte Craig 96 and in 9, Amy Rowe from City Glasgow. Be quite interested to see how the 13 year olds go in this one, um, especially the S Scottish based ones, Sarah McGuffey and Charlotte Craig, Abbey Coventry from Morpeth, a uh, 13 year old um, who's uh, an Anglo Scot. Good to see her coming up as uh, she always does. Well, we're interested to see, as I say, what uh, Charlotte Craig and uh, Sarah McGuffey do as the two uh, fastest 13 year olds. But Amber Hinton. 107.03. No surprises, the uh, early leader there, Amber Hinton. All the way up from Dumfries. Youth Academy member and uh, our entry time of 18.17. Zero yeah. one, which is a pretty impressive time for a fourteen-year-old. She impresses me quite yes, often uh, in the water, yeah. Robert. Done at the Sunderland meet. She's a national age group champion and winner at the summer meet as well. So distance is no problem to her. Not at all. Uh, literally, we saw her earlier uh, in that hundred freestyle. Um, she's doing a fifteen hundred. Domination. Um, so she's very versatile. Yeah. She does literally everything. Yeah. And uh, it'll be interesting to see if she wins this one and then tonight in 100 whether she can go the to the wee short distance and uh, also take that. But she's uh, certainly got a good contest uh, to look forward to in that one against uh, Lumendale. Yeah. And uh, the Hamilton uh, Aquatic Swimmer. He's yeah. over. Nadia Lim. Nadia Lim, that's right. Yeah. Yeah. That'll so be something to watch. That might be my race of the evening, Matty. Yeah, and it's the one I'm looking forward to so far. Second place here, Alice Harper, ahead of third place, Cleo Houghton. But uh, there's no question about uh, the Amber Hunting. She's just went out into her groove already and pulling away. At the moment, Charlotte Craig, uh, best of the 13-year-olds, ahead of Abbey Coventry. But there's uh, not a lot in that, less than half a second. Sometimes you almost wish that they could have swam the, uh, all the 13-year-olds in one heat and all the 14-year-olds, but their coaches would be complaining that uh, some of the fast 13-year-olds would go faster against the 14-year-olds. and they're, they're but that's just the way it is. Yeah. It's, uh, te technically, it's heat declared, so that's the way it goes. 3.32.90 for Amber. And she's got into a groove uh, around about uh, 73 seconds so far. So if she's got into that groove, it's 4.46. Yeah, and I think she, you know, I wouldn't be surprised me if that's just her pacing now. Yeah. Dallas Harper starting to... Pull that back a wee bit, do you think? Robert I needs uh, to check her split times. I'm uh, thinking that she maybe is. Well, no, maybe almost not. a second slower yeah, on that right. last. No, she's, uh, not. she's not, no, definitely not. So we're coming up to complete 400 metres. Very impressive to see from Amber. A free swimmer touching the wall now, 400 metres, 4.45.84. Yeah, that's uh, roughly what we should have expected, uh, high 45 or versus a very, very low 46. That's split a 36. It's obviously better coming downhill than going uphill, Matty. Yeah, I think it's quite evident now, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Abby Coventry, look for her um, in lane zero, Matty. She's uh, 
gone from eighth very quickly into third place. Let's have a look at her times as she comes up to the turn. Swimming on uh, the outside lane in lane yeah, zero. Yeah, 5.51. Uh, the problem is the, the camera has uh, her leader well clear and her second place swimmer also well clear of the rest. The rest a good bit back. You see the rest of them maybe just about coming into camera shot at some point. There's Amber Hinton, 5.59.05. Interesting to see what Alice's time here is. Yeah, we have a whole raft of swimmers all pretty close. But on the near side, Abby Coventry is turning 6.19.90. Charlotte Craig in sixth place, uh, 6.22.85, almost four seconds back. And Sarah McGuffey, the other 13 year old, just about uh, to come in and turn. And 6.35.13, so she's a long way behind Charlotte yeah. Craig. I think Amber just put the hammer down a wee bit there. We'll give you the breast. Well, we're waiting, f uh, well, not waiting for this to complete. Uh, what was this in progress? Brogan Smith, Adam Gibson, Max Clark, Daniel Rose, Tynum Beard. Hayden Simpson, Jensen Basketeer, Thomas Vassalus, Kel Rodding and Zach Neeson are the uh, finalists for the 11 to 13 male and open at 200 breast with Samuel Roth and Jack Lee's the reserves. Our 14 year olds are Rudy Vick, Fabio de Amas, Stefan Ruskas, Austin McPherson, Cameron Jolly, Taylor Adam, Lewis Bray, Aaron Machen, Andrew Patterson, Alex Cantley, Michael Gavin and Luke Thompson are prisoner reserves and uh, no swim-offs. You'll be pleased to hear. Yeah, <laughs> well, they were quite exciting those two this morning, I have to say. Yep. Watching Amber Hinton here, she just suddenly put the hammer down there and I thought at one point... Looked like a little bit like Alice Harper was starting to draw it back a wee bit. Aber just say he put the foot down. Away she goes again, so he's coming up to complete 700 metres now. And Abby Coventry, 8 39 We'll see what that gap is between her and Charlotte Craig. Well, it's, it's grown to uh, the best part of uh, six seconds, just under six seconds, 8.20.05. Uh, Sarah McGuffey in lane one, just about to uh, reach that 6.50 mark, 8.34.72, so she's uh, a long way behind uh, Charlotte Craig, so it looks like uh, gold and silver potentially for the 13-year-olds, Abby Coventry and Charlotte Craig, we'll keep you posted on that one, but uh, we've no problems with uh, our leader here, 8.23.04. Very much uh, five one for Amber there at halfway. Yeah. She's got herself very much into sort of seventy three second dish seventy two, seventy three second pace. And eight fifty nine fifty one at halfway. Well, still in second. So Evie Chan in uh, fourth place is uh, potentially third in real terms for a medal. For the medals, yeah. Mm, Alice Harper in second. Certainly falling well, back a little bit again. Yeah. Yeah. One, one swimmer in uh, lane five, Chloe Houghton, uh Representing Swim West Lothian, she finished uh, third at the Plymouth Leander meet. That's where her entry time of 18:44.99 comes. But uh, she's a long way off the pace, Matty. We we back in eighth. What meet was that? Did you say, Robert? Plymouth Leander uh, March. 
qualifier. So that into time, uh, obviously, uh, got her, uh, a swim at this meet here. Number Hinton, 10, 10, 47, 10, 48. Still strong kick in there, even after yeah. 900 yeah. metres. Yeah. Often you will see when she's on the podium, assuming that then uh, we have no mishaps. She's quite a <laughs> slight, uh, slight girl. Yeah. That was uh, plenty of effort in the tank there. Oh, absolutely. It's all technique. That's a good picture of Amber there. Yeah, top, pure technique. I don't think she's veered off the centre of that pool, that lane, at any time. Straight down the middle, shortest point, A to B, and she's done this so well so far. She's got a weird breathing action. Uh, you know, my kids were taught to swim on and breathe on three. Uh, it doesn't happen all the time, but she's breathing on two sometimes. Uh, and then... Uh, She'll then breathe on the other side. I think when it comes to this, it's probably just how she yeah. feels better at yeah. light. You know, I don't uh, know what she'd be like a, at shorter distances. From a coaching point of view, you yeah. know, if you're yeah. down poolside, you're, you're trying to encourage the swimmer, you can yeah. only see them as if, if they're turning the head the one way. <laughs> can be frustrating. But, uh, it's not Eleven fifty nine seventy two a thousand metres. You see the difference now between Amber and first place in comparison to Alice Harper in second. We're not even in the same picture now. As far as the TV screens go. Incredible good. This, this is 1100 metres for, for Amber. 13, 10, 46. It's a minute quicker so, so far yeah, than yeah. the previous It's season. almost as though she's picking up a wee bit more in the second half. That's a fantastic stroke. Don't usually see this, Matt, yet for, this for the youngsters. But as we said earlier, not a lot of these. Uh, Swimmers in all age categories were getting to swim distance events, so a lot, a lot of them uh, are quite a bit back on the one or two that are exceptionally fast. Some of them might just be trying it for yeah. the first time as so well, like, you know. So it's pra it's practice, and uh, some of them are, uh, you say, maybe not doing this very often. Thirty-six two there for a split, Robert. She's keeping it on, you know. Yeah. So of course, af after this concludes, uh, we have uh, relays and two lots of presentations. There'll be a presentation for this one, then we'll get on to relays and then we'll uh, have presentations for the relays. So please stick with us for uh, all those presentations as well. Amber Hinton, again, turning 22.53, so barely 72 second pace. And she's up in it. Our splits are gone. Alice Harper, uh, well clear in second place. Abby Coventry. That's uh, some 13 seconds or so over uh, Charlotte Craig. So she looks uh, pretty well nailed on now, Matty, for yeah. uh, the 30 year old title. I think you're safe in saying that. Evie Chan there, lane six, is completing her 
1,200 meters. She's still very committed into her turns, Amber. You Indeed. Know. So a qualifying Ken time, Amber, of 18-17. 200 metres to go. I'm certainly looking at something under uh, the 19 mark quite comfortably sorry under the 18 mark I meant Matty yeah, not the yeah, 19 yeah. under the 18 yeah. mark yeah that would be nice to see something like 1855 potentially 1755 17, 1755 yeah yeah, yeah that would be good to it's see it's been a long 1500 <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah so do you get a quick 1500 yeah well this is a quick 1500 well. So Amber's coming down, she's going to hear that magical bell now. To let her know she's uh, 100 metres to go. 16.46.12. Yeah, a wee bit under the 72 there, so a really fast finish and she'll get those legs going like the clappers uh, in a final 100. And uh, it wouldn't surprise me if she gets set. Uh, Pretty well nailed on to uh, 17.55, Matty. She's looking good for a sub-18 here, yeah. And another negative split we're going to see. Was there a split? 8.59? Yeah, 8.59.51, so 17.59.51. Uh, yeah, yeah. would be bang on. And she's well inside that. Right, let's come back to 34 and a 34.5, please. That would Sorry, be nice. a, a 33 and a half rather. Big ask. As she goes though, she is going for it. She's given it everything. Yeah, let's keep this going, Amber, right through to the completion. Into the final stretch. It's going to be Look inside. At this. Well, 17, 15, excellent. 16. Back to 32, 83. Nailed it. And a negative split, eh? Fabulous. Wonderful, wonderful swim. So I've not had the, the joy of watching swims like that very often. That was uh, very impressive to see that, so it was. And uh, don't discount this really good swim we've had from uh, Alice Carper, yeah, another uh, Youth Academy swimmer for uh, City Glasgow swimmer. Coming on to complete now. So 30 seconds quicker than a qualifying time for Alice as well. Yeah. Swimmer uh, from uh, representing City Glasgow. Um, finished fifth at the uh, Emirates uh, meet as well. At the Emirates Cup meet, so... Uh, Abbey Maybe Covington. over representing City Glasgow as our uh, Scottish based club. Wonderful. Abbey Coventry, 1858 98. So, uh, she will uh, be the uh, Scottish champion and she's taken over 47 seconds of her time. Evie Chan will be a uh, bronze medalist, I think, in the uh, 14 year old category. Charlotte Craig, the Ren swimmer. Runner up will be uh, runner up in the 13 year old category behind Abby Coventry. We'll keep an eye for Sarah McGuffey. That's uh, an impressive time for Abby Coventry there, like you see. Fifty seconds quicker than her qualifying time. Uh, Sarah McGuffey uh, Completes the race, but uh, that won't Wonderful. get. Just finishing now, and yeah, uh, that, won't, that, that won't get her a medal. Uh, Twenty oh oh sixty nine. That will go to uh, Emily Taylor, the twelve year old from South Lanarkshire, in the first heat, Matty, who did a nineteen thirty three ninety six. In fact, Emily Taylor, 
South Lanarkshire, yeah. Well, actually, yeah, that's right. Uh, yeah. She's a little bit slower than Charlotte Craig. So uh, I think uh, once they combine all the results, I think Emily Taylor, if I've done my maths correctly, Mate will be the bronze medalist okay. in the younger age group at 12. When she gets to swim out next year, if she's uh, keen enough to do yeah, so, I'm sure yeah. she will as yeah. a 13-year-old. Yeah. Yeah, very impressive. That's a great effort from the girls. Absolutely fantastic. That's and there's the medals that you can see over there. Great achievement to go, go home with oh, uh, wow, one yeah. of them. Yeah, absolutely. As we said earlier, sometimes it's not a question of going home with medals, it's getting here in the first place absolutely. and getting it's a, a huge swim. thing to get here. And, uh, huge. So well done to uh, those three swimmers. So that's uh, first before the, so the, the finales. The before one hundred meters, yeah. really? Yeah. So uh, two of the South Lanarkshire coaches. Uh, the Lanark coach and uh, one of these called Bright coaches over there, Derek McGowan and uh, Karen Kelly. Derek McGowan is also over there as uh, our SASA vice president, president elect. Uh, eventually, will take over as uh, SASA president soon. Looks like he will be doing those presentations for us, Matty. Yeah, that's the uh, the that's on the cars oh, now. Yeah. yeah, so the young ladies just get, uh, get their themselves together up. and uh, get their uh, various tops on. And that on yeah, yeah, ready to go. Get their uh, club bits on and uh, we'll make their way up to the podium for deserved medals. Yeah, what a nice feeling after a yeah. day like this, uh, to go up and collect a medal. As you say, it's a massive thing to even get here in the first place for a lot of the swimmers. It's a, it's a massive big target to get here and then go up on that podium must be yeah, a great so feeling. It looks like the rain coach is uh, dashing over to uh, the give hand, yeah. uh, Charlotte Craig her uh, top. Yeah, well, it's been great so far. Yeah. We've still got the, the relays yeah. to look forward to. I think that's been my swim of the day today, uh, for today, Amber Hinton, so far. I've yeah. liked a few of the sprints, but uh, that was very, very impressive to see. So we're just about uh, ready to go with uh, medal presentations now, Matty. Yeah. And here we go. So Evie Chan... And Emily Taylor. So an 11, 11 to 30 year old category, the bronze medalist from South Lanarkshire is Emily Taylor. Uh, well done, Emily. She, I'm sure when she came up, she wasn't even thinking anything remotely she'd be anywhere near a podium. Yeah, go on, smile. Big smile, yeah, that's, uh, that's it. what it's all about. We just need Derek McGowan to present a medal. It will be. Uh, Good to go. There we are. Well done. Might actually be his own swimmer as well. And Evie Chan. Evie Chan. 96. Then 96 said uh, doubly represented on the podium here. Of course. Silver medalist in that 11 30 year old age group from round 96 is Charlotte Craig. That's it, Matty. They're my dark horse for sneaking yeah, into the top ten. That. Yeah, you did see that. City of Glasgow's uh, Alice Harper is our silver medalist in the 14 year old category, and I think she's also delighted uh, to be up there. Yeah. yeah. So, our Scottish National Age Group champions in 11 13 year old age group category from Morpeth is Abby Coventry. And in the 14-year-old age group category, 
Representing Dumfries, uh, age group champion, is Amber Hinton. Who doesn't look like she just done a 1500 no. at that pace. No. Yeah, well done, girls. Yeah. As I say, she's quite slight, Amber Hinton. Nothing yet. All technique. But, uh, all it's all technique, technique as we said. Uh, really, really uh, super in everything that she does in the pool, and we'll see that over the next five days. So that uh, concludes the individual events. We'll have uh, some relays to look forward to. It's, uh, Boys really, well male and open, 11 to 13 year olds. Two heats, four by 100 freestyle is what's uh, ahead of us. Six uh, go in the first heat and there will be 10 in the second heat. Pity we've only got uh, six teams in the second, uh, second heat. But it's always a question of uh, getting enough uh, boys in, uh, in it, yeah. into the swimming room. I know the clubs have been saying that plenty of girls in the younger age group but we're struggling for boys. Yeah, yeah. The Highland swim team all dressed up with their wigs yeah. and everything on again. Yeah, great to see a bit of team ethos here. So we're looking forward to this. Highland swim team, University of Aberdeen performance, South Ayrshire swim team, Aberdeen Dolphin, Step Rock, and City Glasgow B team go in this. So it's Highland Swim Team in lane two, University of Aberdeen Performance in three, South Ayrshire in lane four, Aberdeen Dolphin in five, Step Rock in six, City Glasgow in lane seven. And off we go. It looks like a decent start. We have Fraser Vass from Highland Swim Team doing the first leg. Daniel Valkov and uh, Aberdeen Performance. Cameron Millen, Miller for South Ayrshire. The million guys is Aberdeen Dolphin. Uh, Step Rock has Oliver Octoloni. And City Glasgow B team is Kerr Martin. And coming up to 50 metres in. Halfway for these guys. University of Aberdeen Performance ahead of Aberdeen Dolphin. Daniel Valkov ahead of a million guys is. So it's Daniel Valkov for Aberdeen Performance, University of Aberdeen Performance who's coming in ahead of lane six. So a big upon lane five, Aberdeen Dolphin million guys is. So he hands over to Lewis Morgan. And then it's Nathan Christophorus and Dougal Strang. You're across the board, your second swimmers, Dougal Strang from Highland Swim Team. University of Aberdeen performance is Lewis Morgan. Felix Broom goes for South Ayrshire in lane four. And five, it's Nathan Christophorus for Aberdeen Dolphin. Six is Max Gilbert from Step Rock. And then seven, it's Nikoforos Kalamakis from City Glasgow Swim Team B. They're in lane seven. So, Pretty close here now in yeah. this mark, Robert. Yeah, virtually three in a row. Yeah. Good Maybe leg second, for Dougal Strang there, 32.28. So Highland coming back into it. So bunching up at the front here. There's three teams. It's Highland swim yeah. team, University of Aberdeen performance. South Ayrshire will be to do in fourth year. So as they swim up to the mark, I'll call you out your third leg swimmers for Highland Swim Team. It's Nathan Ross for Aberdeen Performance. University Aberdeen Performance is Glenn Geddes for South Ayrshire Swim Team. It's Tynum Baird. Ryan Lee goes for Aberdeen Dolphin. Uh, Matthew Craig for Step Rock A. And Rudre Rowren for City of Glasgow Team B. See how this one develops. Whether uh, South Ayrshire, who are fourth, can uh, pick up anything. University of Aberdeen performance. Glenn Geddes with the uh, slight advantage, I think. Although it's very close as they turn at the wall there. 
very, very little between them and Aberdeen Dolphin. So Glenn Geddes and Ryan Lee is in a battle to keep that lead as they come down with about 30 metres to go before they hand over to their last swimmer. Yeah. Aberdeen performance so, looking pretty strong here, Matty, yeah, and this. Uh, pulling slightly ahead of the Dolphin swimmer, but there's not much yeah, in it, they're Robert. Coming back. They're Dolphins certainly are keeping coming in back. It. Yeah. It's all to play for. Go on to the, uh, Dolphins have actually got this one. And the final oh, handover now. Uh, almost step off. So we're into the uh, final leg now. It is 4x100. James Exeter swims for Highland Swim Team in lane two. And University of Aberdeen performance is Artem Kurmelovs. Lewis Riley swims for South Asia. Olivia Bialonski from Aberdeen Dolphin. Andrew Liu from Step Rock. And City Glasgow swim team's Kyle Martin in lane seven. So Aberdeen Dolphin now out on their own. University of Aberdeen performance. I'm three seconds behind. It's been a good leg so far for the Dolphin swimmer, Olivier Bielonski. So it's lane five, Olivier Bielonski for Aberdeen Dolphin. He's coming to take the lead, I think. Second place is looking like South Ayrshire, so that's Lewis Riley, Riley that's coming in. Yeah. And that's how it is going to finish. There's a, certainly a fight for third. And I think Step Rock's just maybe just got it. Andrew Liu, who we saw swim earlier in a great race, he's just overtaken the uh, lane three swimmer there to take third place. Aberdeen Dolphins ahead of South Ayrshire, Step Rock, and then the University of Aberdeen performance. Good race. Yeah, South Ayrshire uh, finishing like a chain, but uh, have far too much to do to claw that back. Yeah, unfortunately, uh, University of Aberdeen performance uh, promoted to third due to disqualification, technical infraction in lane six, was it, Matty? Yes, I believe so it was. Yeah. Yeah. So our final uh, event, our final heat is... Uh, on the screen in zero we have uh, Carnegie in one South Lanarkshire two Ren 96 three Dumfries four City Glasgow five Glen Northis six Heart of Midlothian seven Warder Bass eight Geary and in nine first <laughs> most unusual not to have Warder Bass in the middle lane in a really mm. really So, Fraser Oliver for Carnegie, Zach ne Neeson, South Lanarkshire, Rhys Ferguson, Wren, Nathan Zorro, Dumfries, Jesse Basketeer, City Glasgow, Lewis Stark, Glenn Rothis, and Guy Johnson Hearts, Angus Donald, Warner, and Adam Gibson from Geary. And for first, we have Rory Stevenson. So, uh, oh, frantic. Frantic. yeah, it's Dumfries from Hart of Midlothian and Warnder, 30-79. Well, a second cover the first four for City Glasgow. Just a fraction further back in fifth. And at the moment, advantage in lane three with Dumfries. Dumfries, City Glasgow coming through along with Warnder, Geary in first. At the moment, we've gone 100 metres almost. Dumfries, Amber Hinton got it done last, and Dumfries go in with a nice advantage, 104-58, City Glasgow, Kaelin Chesser for them, guys in Hatab for Dumfries, over on the far side, Warner have uh, Giant Gullen, Blair Tetlow for Geary, and uh, Luke Todd for first. At the moment, it's uh, Dumfries with uh, City Glasgow. Three metres or so for yeah, the back. It's a good lead there. So at the moment, it's... Uh, and that's uh, a good lead there that they've got at the moment. Yeah, it's uh, 
Still the advantage for Dumfries from lane four. Siri Glasgow coming through very strongly at Hart of Midlothian into third, but Dumfries at the moment, I'm not saying coasting this, but well clear. Handing over to Charlie McGog uh, McGogan there. Siri Glasgow will have uh, Charlie McGogan and uh, Hart's. Uh, ben uh, Gray away first for Snedden. Dumfries. Ben Gray with a with good lead here. So at the moment, uh, Dumfries with a good advantage. Dumfries are maybe four or five clear. City Glasgow trying hard to get on terms. Hard to Midlothian in third. And over on the far side, Geary are in fourth. I think that's uh, potentially where the action is won. They're also trying to get into the mix in fifth. Uh, at the moment, uh, Dumfries hanging on here. City Glasgow coming back. Uh, City Glasgow will have Samuel Ruff going in for them. Harry Stewart for Dumfries. Lucas Serela for Hart to Midlothian. Well, City Glasgow have come from nowhere wow. to take this up. So City of Glasgow straight to the front. Dumfries hanging on. And possibly are they going to hang on for a medal? There's City of Glasgow well clear now. Dumfries second. It's going to be a pretty tight third. Hart of Midlothian, Warrender and Geary. That's where uh, the action is for the bronze at the moment. City of Glasgow, still well clear. Second place is Dumfries. Hart of Midlothian being challenged by, uh, I think, Geary. Wander well there. At the moment, it's City of Glasgow. Dumfries coming through very, very strongly now. Brogan Smith for uh, Glenn Rothis. Glenn Rothis are now third. So City Glasgow. Stand the pool Can Glenn in. Rothis sneak a, a second? A the five team are coming through very strongly. Well, gonna Who's going to get second? Goal. It's City Glasgow. I've got this one. But Glenn Rothis, can they snatch second from Dumfries? It's very tight. Dumfries hanging on at the death. Just and Dumfries wow. just hang on from the fast finishing Glenn Rothis. What a great last 50. Not quite getting there, but nevertheless, a third place for, uh, for Dumfries, for Glenn Rothis. Fantastic. Another one of my dark courses uh, for top 10. Yeah. Well, that was uh, that was worth watching. I'll tell you, that was really you know, good. City Glasgow uh, got it right. Got the uh, the two fast guys to finish uh, the job off. Third and fourth legs, yeah. But City Glasgow, Dumfries, Glen Rothis, subject to uh, that being uh, no problems with takeovers. That is our official result. I think. Uh, that some of the guys coming out there are uh, absolutely chuffed to bits with uh, what they've done. And they all look very spent as well, oh, which is great. Yep, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Uh, good to see Glenn Roth as one of the wee clubs uh, getting on the podium as well. Yeah, gave me two halves that one. Yeah. Don't freeze out very quickly, obviously, with a good lead, but uh, City Hang, Glasgow. Hanging in there at the death. Another uh, five yeah. years and it was done and dusted, but. Very From their point of view, thankfully, they only, only do 100 metres, not 105. Yeah. <laughs> that could have made all the difference right enough. So that's uh, all the action done. We've just got one more set of presentations, which is uh, what we've just seen. So we'll wait, wait for these guys just to get their breath back, get their club kit on, and uh, very shortly... I would think that uh, Derek McGowan, if he's still there, if he's uh, doing presentations, will be uh, presenting medals for those three teams. So it'll be Glenn Rothis in the, sil the bronze medal position, Dumfries silver medal, and City Glasgow. Well, it's uh, over on the far side, we've got the uh, West District President, uh, Hazel Hastings, uh, so I don't know if she's doing presentations or 
She's certainly giving a high five yes, uh, to yeah. Dumfries team, which is uh, just out of your camera shot. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. So the bronze medal, team from Glenrothes, if we're uh, just about ready to go. And Fletcher, uh, past president of SASA, doing those uh, pres presentations. He's usually uh, making sure we've got all the medalists in the right place. So the Glenrothes team are uh, Louis Starkey, Noah Hanna, Lucien Burrell, and Brogan Smith. And on paper, they were the second fastest team, so maybe they were coming up hoping they'd be on the podium, and it's nice to see yeah, them on the yeah, podium. Yeah, absolutely. The Dumfries team, silver medalist. Nathan Zorro, Asin Hattap, Ben Gray. It's Drew and Henry. Very Hanging on at the death there, and, yeah. uh, absolutely delighted to see them. Yeah, that was a race and a half. Yeah. So the gold medalists and Scottish National Age Group champions uh, are the team from City Glasgow. A 4-24-34. Pretty comfortable in the end. City Glasgow team. Jessica Basketeer. Jensen Basketeer. Jessa. Yeah. Charlie McCogan. And Samuel Ruff. Yeah, they put on a show for us there. That was great to see. Got the colour codes right. <laughs> Gold, silver, bronze. And the uh, most important thing is uh, Charlie will get the, the photos. Yeah, get them, absolutely. No doubt Lots on the screen. Faces right. up there. So that concludes uh, session two. Thanks for joining us. Uh, thanks uh, to Matthew Watson and myself, Robert Taylor. Uh, we're back here for uh, the evening session. Join us if you can. We're back at 10 past five. So from Matty and myself, bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you.